Okay, hello ladies. Natalia here or Love Crafts Forever, whatever you like to call me. <laughs> I have a package today, as I promised a while ago to show you unboxing. It's been kind of a while when I um, ordered this painting. I'm gonna show you. Well, I was started videotape upstairs on dining table. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> my husband show up in the house. He didn't know I was video. And I just, I cannot stand if somebody listening to me video <laughs> taping. So I just shut down my phone, delete that video. I, I kind of started from scratch unboxing and I just grab everything and came back to me, uh, to my craft room. That's kind of more peaceful in here <laughs> and quiet and nobody gonna disturb me now. So as you see, I already opened the package and I'm gonna show you the little butterflies I got. Okay. This is five panel butterfly. And as you see, sizes is 1525, two pieces, 1540, two pieces, and 15 by 50. So this is gonna be huge. And as I received, the box was kinda, you see how it was damaged? So I'm pretty sure the owner of the store didn't send the box like this. It's our wonderful mail delivery, whatever, where it's went, aeroplane, whatever. It really got squished. So, and this is the name of the store, Zooey Star. How would you pronounce this? How, if you would say, well, of course I can't hear you, but uh, I say Zooey. I probably totally butcher um, the name. But you have to be careful. With this name of beginning of this name, it has a two stores, which Butterfly, Zoo Star, um, I think it's one is called official, one is a uh, fashion, um, fashion, I don't know. I will link below because my horses came from different store and same thing, Zoo Star. And I thought, well, let me message to this person and tell him that accidentally I ordered twice instead of just uh, once and so he can send me butterflies and horses in one package and instead of uh, waiting for two shipments. And he say, well, you didn't pay for horses yet. I say, well, yes, I did. I sent him receipt uh, that I receive after I pay. And he said, oh, no, sorry, this is different uh, name of the store. And I was like, oh, shoot, my mistake, I'm sorry. But already went like two weeks and he still didn't ship out. And I was like, keep asking, keep asking. When he's like, please, please wait. Um, I say, are you out of stock? I'm waiting this for my birthday. Actually, my birthday is April 15. So I really wanted this as my personal gift. And I know when you order from AliExpress, you have to wait maybe like two months. Well, at least one month. So I was like, okay, now I'm totally not getting it because it's already two weeks and he didn't even ship out. So surprisingly, after we chat back and forth, I received this today and it's still week before my birthday. So wow, I'm impressed with this one. But now let's see what actually inside and I really want to see if the sizes will be uh, accurate for this one. Okay, I might have to keep this box. Uh, where is the size? This is, oh no, that was in the packaging, I think. Okay, I'm going to pick a blue on the packaging so I can see if my size is okay. Okay, ladies, so let's unwrap it. And it's, uh oh, okay. As you see, the beads already falling out, so some bag is broken. And, well, because of the box was damaged, you see my canvas got a little crinky. But fortunately, as I see so far, the surface where you have to place your beads, it's pretty smooth, so just a corner wouldn't be a big deal. But I don't like the idea that beads already fallen out. So let's unwrap it and see what's inside. Okay. 
Huh. I don't know. It looks so small. I don't think that's the right size. Wow. To be honest, I thought it's going to be bigger. Okay, let's see. So here we have three, three packs of beads. Okay. Because the beads are square, so I have here wax tray stylist. Or oh, this one is big one. You can place, I believe, more than um, seven beads. Depends. I have a few different ones. And a tweezers to pick up the beads. But to be honest, the girls, I like stylus better than the tweezers for square uh, beads. It's much easier for me to place. So, this now we have here. I guess this is beads for two panels. And I see here marking already. So, I guess that was their inventory. I don't know why this one not marked. I will be surprised if it's not even in here. I hope it's in here everything. So, grid is square. Okay. This one. Now, here is another two panels this way. And I don't, I don't see any markings in here. So, I don't know what was going on with that inventory up there hopefully it's not something that somebody uh, you know returned back to them I don't know but as you see the bag is broken and I already see two three four colors flying around oh my god okay this is gonna be disaster I do not like that I already see four colors flying around so it says here, all the way around, uh, beads, different colors, stick. Hopefully this is not one of those that every bag going to be messed up. And I see broken beads up there all over in the baggy too, but uh, I will have to do inventory separately with this one because it's going to be messy, I think. So now... For the panel, if I can just shake it out, the bits out of it. I hope I'm on a camera here. Okay. Unfortunately, this is one of those that has closed up with the paper, sticky paper, so we can't really see what it is, but. Okay, here is the two should be okay. So this is gonna be on that side, and here one more bead. This is gonna be like this. This one on the other side, and like that. I don't know if I'm getting on camera even. Okay, one more bead. So it's something like this, but now, oh, I see, oh no, hold on, not like this, the bigger panel go, okay, another bit in here stuck, another, okay, it's going to be like this, okay, now we are right, so let's see the measurements, the one that the uh, side pieces we're going to measure first, it says 15 by 50, Okay, I have on my ruler here, centimeters, and I'm going to measure from the picture, actually. Um, okay, this is going to be 15. Uh, 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 okay, what? Is this a centimeters? Yes. Um, okay, so... Let's see together. Am I looking all right? Okay. 
I think this is the panel supposed to be. No, it's not. Hold on. Wait. One, 15, 25, two pieces. 15, 25. So it's supposed to be like this one. Half the heck. This could be 15. Like, I don't understand, guys, the sizing of this one. It says 43 all the way with panels, or if I can see through where this picture, it says less than a 40, because it's print finishing. No, it's 40. So, how in the world? Okay. 40, maybe this one. 10, 15. Okay, okay. Finally, I got it. Okay, so when they said here 15, 40, I thought it's going to be like huge uh, panel, but they did not separate these numbers. So it's actually 15 by 40. two panels not 15 4 it's like 1540 it's like meter 540 that's how it was in my opinion that's crazy okay this is totally wrong interpretation for the um, sizing than i thought would be so to be honest it looks much smaller than i was hoping to get well at least sizing now i know that size go from printed way where is the picture and uh, not all the way to the end of the canvas so now what we're gonna check we're gonna peekaboo a little bit guys I'm such in a uh, comfortable position here but I just want to videotape this today close up a little bit instead of talking far from we're gonna open a little bit and see actual print if it's easy to read or not okay Lots of background. Okay. Okay, let me see what to apply. Because the horse that I'm working on, I will, I'm going to show you. No, you see that? It's, it's good. You can see clearly all the icons and they don't really blend together like my other ones. Because, oh my God, it was pluses and minuses on the same back around and that plus was like barely visible almost looked like minus then some other icons so similar to each other i spent like uh, two days diamond painting my running horses through the water and i kind of like really in a little piece still left because of the bed bed printing so same stores for horses and this butterflies zoo star but the different uh, ending of the store name so i will link to this store uh, in my video in a comment section or somewhere under video and then if you like it what you see you can order but then i'm a little bit confused what i'm gonna do with this beats if they all broken or not i guess i'm just gonna write down for you under video if this is just a spill a little bit or gonna be totally mess when i open this okay so anyway here is the tools that together uh, i'm working right now with this one that has Three beads picker from this side, and one I think it has even more than six beads you can pick. One of mine has a six or seven, and then the other one, like eight or nine. There's so much different sizes of them. And to my for my uh, square beads, I like to use this tool. I try with tweezers. And you can't really go all the time to the creases if you touch a bead obviously this um tweezer not gonna go bead close to the other bead because tweezer between them 
so for me to place a Vesta wax and round tool is much much better and I find that uh, square is much slower you can do than round one round you just pick and place and square one you really have to look for the uh, square so for those who are doing the first time I'm just gonna show you how tiny these beads are the one who sneak out of my package so if I put on my finger okay and it's not gonna okay it's focusing see how tiny they are so if you guys ordering this for the first time and your vision not as good you better get those glasses out me right now I'm not uh, wearing the glasses but I find out that my vision kind of got me down a little bit for the last four years so I'm using magnifying glass to work uh, with my painting but I'm waiting for a really, really good tool that will help me in the future to do diamond painting it's a, like a lead light and um, you wear them like a glasses almost so when I received that it's still I ordered from Aliexpress I did not receive yet I will definitely do a review about it because that's going to be a life-changing experience to do diamond paintings with the help of a little bit close-up looking instead of holding the magnifying glass like I do now and uh, one more tip for those who ordering for the first time diamond paintings and you don't know what to do um, I would suggest go first for round beads because if you start from square beads first you might never want to do again because <laughs> obviously it's much much harder to do and with the round beads it's easy to place you don't have to worry of straight line because otherwise beads not gonna fit together as the square beads um, they have to like touch each other totally to cover all pasting area so if you're not doing this right in the squares where the canvas is it's not gonna fit properly and 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 yes I would suggest you to start from uh, suggest you to start from uh, round beads first so okay I'm gonna go now and fight with these beads guys because it's pretty messy as you see it's like it's it's fallen out of the bag everywhere so I have to pull out some containers um, and try to put them maybe even um, I got this little uh, I got this little jars from a dollar store dollar dollar 25 Canadian so I think some of those baggy look how cute and it's it's a plastic and then you can put your diamond bits in it and then you can label them here or even label no this one not gonna go because it's not flat but you can put your label on the top in here or also what I can suggest you for the packaging of your diamond beads for example I'm just gonna show you quickly here my storages okay first of all this one this is like from brownie or something container so I'm holding it now this one is from TikToks. I'm I'm storing my beads in a seed beads whatever beads <laughs> I like to beat so TikTok could be your best friend for a little diamond paint and beads because you can see clearly it's not good idea to have those um, I have somewhere there's uh, orange TikTok has an orange plastic so you can see color through um, and this one I'm just using extra in a pill containers unfortunately my husband on the medications and he has lots of them I almost lost him two years ago thank goodness he survived he has a stint in his heart now and yeah so he go through lots of medications so I'm just keeping the bigger sizes and 
store my beads in it also you can if uh, some of you using medication prescriptions you can store your diamond painting in it so yeah and then um if you have like uh, some people order big um big pictures and i collected already over years lots of uh, beads this is another one from dollar store look you jars it's a big but if you have a paintings humongous and we know have usually background and some pictures is dark and all those three ten dmc colors big jars like this would be perfect for that and also in here well i'm not really suggesting for this bit but i got this containers i have my uh, bicons bits in here they are glass from dollar store but the only thing is not so great about maybe diamond paintings because it is it's easy it's easy to open you don't want to lose your bits so this might be not going to be a great idea but you know something on the first time if you don't have anybody to knock them down and don't do it yourself so that would be okay right okay so i'm gonna go do sort it out this beads because obviously it's in a big mess in here yeah beads everywhere and um, start working more on my horses i was gonna show you my progress on my horses right together with this video but since now i'm downstairs in my room and uh, with the um, diamond painting of horses i'm working on my desk upstairs uh, next to the light uh, to the window and so i'm gonna show you some other time okay thank you guys for watching stay tuned for our next video thank you very much